The first step in preparing to build an end of arm tool is to look at the details on the back surface of the part. They will show you the direction of the die and the direction the part is demolded. Notice the straight ribs run in this direction, meaning the part will come out of the mold like this. The profile frame holding the vacuum cups will be bolted to the dovetail plate, which will then be attached to the robot. This end of arm tool includes three profile frame pieces, two horizontal and one vertical. The frame connectors mount in the profile channel. They allow for the horizontal framework to be added to the vertical framework. The beauty of this design is that the profile can move in two different directions. At this point, the basic frame profile is completed. Before you start adding components, you want to check the position of the profile in relation to the tool. With this particular tool, we will add three vacuum cups. This type of vacuum cup arm is spring-loaded, which allows the cup to approach the part straight on, even though the part is at an angle. If the part is angled, the cup will adjust to the position of the part. This type of clamp is adjustable along the length of the profile, the distance away from the profile, and the angle of rotation. We now have a basic three cup end of arm tool. Remember, with any flat surface, you need a minimum of three contact points to have a stable support system for the part. The vacuum cups are now aligned with the part. On this particular part, there is also a sprue attached to the gate within this hole. A sprue plier will secure the sprue along with the runner on the bottom edge of the opening. This mounting clamp holds the sprue plier.
The tool is designed not only to secure the part, but also to remove the sprue. You may need to adjust the sprue plier position when the part is still in the mold. In a modular EOAT system, the tooling components can be easily moved on the profile for precise adjustment. The gate, runner, and sprue fill the molded part. The sprue plier secures this runner system when the part is ejected from the mold. After the components are positioned on the EOAT, compressed air and vacuum are plumbed to the grippers and vacuum cups. After the tool is complete, verify that each socket head cap screw is securely tightened. Thanks for watching this demonstration from SAS Automation.